Well, my hard line is the vaccine. That's rape. You can't force me to have you inject me with something. Just like a guy can't force a woman to put his penis in her, you can't put that little narrow dick in me and, and pump me full of that COVID cum. You ain't going to do it. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, you've built many great things. I'm thankful for your time and perspective. I was diagnosed with digestive autoimmune issues at the age of 18. I've struggled with them on and off since. Gaining weight and being able to thrive with all the accompanying symptoms has been a huge barrier to reaching my full potential. Last Thanksgiving, I became extremely sick and dropped 30 pounds in a little more than a month. I since regained my strength and the weight but I'm now facing a bit of a philosophical dilemma. I still have ugly symptoms. It's like having food poisoning all the time. My doctors want me to have a colonoscopy procedure, which I'm fine with. The issue is that I have very strong beliefs about this COVID cult. <laughs> I think the entire thing is ridiculous. I refuse to participate in this worldwide occult propaganda campaign being inflicted on us. I won't be taking the experimental vaccine. Here in Oregon, you have to get a COVID test before any medical procedure. No thanks. I'm not going to wear a mask and I'm not going to take the vaccine. Therefore, I won't be getting a COVID test either. That means no procedure. I would almost rather die of cancer than submit myself to the COVID-19 agenda. I Am I being stubborn and irrational? Are there people in my life that depend on me? Uh, there are people in my life that depend on me and want to see me healthy. Should I sacrifice my moral code just to see where I stand with my health? If someone tries to swab my nose, they're going to lose an eye. <laughs> cool. So let me start by saying this. It's good to have boundaries. And it's good to know where your firmest boundary lies because in this context and this i'm just gonna be transparent I'm talking about me there are varying degrees of the boundary right there are certain things that i will generally not do but given a circumstance or situation i'll do it right there are certain times where i get to practice humility because if you're like me and you got that pride poking up you're just not going to submit you just don't want to submit. There are things I'm willing to submit to. Where I've learned a whole lot about humility through Christ. Being Catholic is about is 100% about being humble, right? And I'll humble myself. I'll get on my knees and I'll open my mouth to receive. Every day I'll do that. But I don't submit to tyranny. I don't. I believe in Christ, so I'll submit. I do, like you. I don't believe. Not that I don't believe COVID exists. But I don't believe that our way of going about it is rational. It's not. The science proves it. We're delusional if we follow these ordinances. And all we got to do is say no. Most people don't believe it either. Most people do not believe it. But you know what they do? They go along to get along. They've proven that peer pressure works. Right. But there's guys like you and me, outliers, even here in Florida, man. A lot of times, I'm, even though there's no mask ordinance in Florida, a lot of times I'm the only guy not wearing a mask. I went into Publix, uh, not Publix, I went to Target twice over the past two days. And I guess they now put somebody at the front door to just ask you if you have a mask. And I just walk in, I say, no, they don't say anything else. So guess what? I get to shop at Target. But if they stop me at the door and they say, sir, you can't come in here without a mask. You know what I'm going to do? In fact, that happened to me. I went to some rinky dink uh, uh, hardware store the other day, right? Just because it was on my way somewhere. I was like, oh, I, need to get some, I need to get a bag of concrete. And I walked in and the old lady behind the counter, of course, everybody had their mask on. Old lady on the counter says, you have to have a mask on when you're in here, sir. And I said, no, I'm not wearing a mask. And she said, well, then you have to leave. And you know what I did? I turned around and walked out because it's not that big a deal. It's a bag of concrete. I could even order it online if I wanted to. Or I could go to Home Depot where they don't bother me. They don't bother me at Home Depot. So I know I can go get it, right? So it's not a big deal. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you to I'm gonna give you a little transparency here about OE, N not to rat myself out, but just to show you how this. You sometimes you gotta be humble, right? And there's certain situations where there's nothing you can do, and you know you they got you that way. They got you by the balls, and so every once in a while you just bite your lip and you're just like, all right, all right, fuck it. Example number one, I planned a father and son trip with my son back in 2019, before COVID. And we were, supposed to, we were supposed to go to Idaho. And I'm like, man, I already signed up for this. I already bought my freaking plane tickets and now they want me to wear a freaking mask on the airplane, right? And I had a little bit of a, I had a little bit of dilemma, right? And I was, about, I was gonna cancel it. I was gonna cancel it. I was like, no, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. My wife was like, this might be the last time you ever get to get on an airplane, Elliot. And I was like, you're probably right. Because back then, even then, I knew the vaccines were coming. This is why they did it. This is this, that was the that was you know like they lubing up your butt before they put it in. Right? It, it's coming, and they literally doing that in China, right? They putting the, the thing in your butt. <laughs> but they were lubing us up with the mask. The mask is just warm up. It's pregame for what's happening now with the vaccines. Um, and see so you know what I did? I put on the mask. I put on the mask, and I went in the airplane. I wore it through the airport. I got to where I needed to go. And I had a great time with my son. I'm happy we did it. We went to Idaho. Probably never, ever go there again. So I wore a mask. I did it. And I had to humble myself because I thought, you know, I would be depriving my son also of something he was really looking forward to. And I didn't want to let him down. Like, you don't want to let down the people in your life. I didn't want to let down my son. And so I put on the, I put on the damn mask. And I only wore it one more time after that. Right? This was, this was back in, like, September 2020. February, I wore the mask again. And, and, and you know, uh, I also took a test. Whew. Elliot, you contradicting yourself. Well, let me explain. I needed to get surgery too. I had to get eye surgery. I needed to get surgery on my eyes. I, I, eye problems, just like you got gut problems. I had eye problems, and I wanted to get my eye problems fixed. Tired of the freaking eye problems. There's only one guy that can fix the freaking eyes. And he requires you take a COVID test and you get a mask. See so you know what I did? I took the fucking test and I wore a mask. You think I ever wore a mask again after that? No. So it's situational, bro. I'm not telling you what to do, but it's situational. If it's your life and death, right? You, you can't gain weight. You're, you're dying. You say you'd rather die than wear the mask. Um, that's cool. That's noble. That's tough. Uh, but I don't want to die on that hill. I'm not going to die on that hill. I'm not going to die on that hill. I'll put, I'll put on a mask if it means life or death. <laughs> right. Um, and you know what? Here's the other thing. And this is, this is a, for me is a new perspective because I'm a new Catholic. Chalk it up as penance, mortification, offer it up to God. Say, look, I'm going to suffer right now. Like Christ suffered on the cross. Bring Christ into your heart in that moment and humble yourself. He, God humbled himself and made himself flesh. Not only did he make himself flesh, but he allowed his flesh to get whooped and murdered on a cross, which is a humiliation. You can put on a fucking mask, <laughs> right? Rather than die, right? That's, that'll be a, that'll be a, that'll be a, that'll be a, uh, that would be a tough story to tell. I wouldn't. Be, I don't know if that would be a great story to tell. So, take the test, wear the mask. Don't have a bad, begrudging feeling about it. Offer it up as penance. You know, talk to the Lord while you're doing it, and say, you know, you're humbling me right now, Lord, and I see what you're doing. You're doing a little work on me right now. Um, you know that I love and worship you and not Dr. Fauci. <laughs> He's not my Lord and Savior. Uh, Joe Biden is not my Lord. You are. And I'm not afraid of death because I want to meet you in heaven. Uh, but, I'm, but, but I'm going to receive this little penance right now, this little, this little mortification, this little whooping right now, just to remind me that I'm not, that even though Dr. Fauci is not my Lord, I'm not the Lord. And right now I need to do this so that I can continue to live healthily and 
continue to do good work in your name, right? It's all about perspective. It's all about perspective, all about the way you look at it. Um, but you got to know where your hard line is drawn. And for me, the hard line is I knew that there was a, it was a line with the mask. It's, there are certain lines that like I can go back and forth. I'll lean on this side. I'll stay on this side. But if I have to, I'll cross it a little bit. At this point, because I don't know how hard they're gonna they're gonna persecute us, it's coming. I think a lot of people in the UK is is as somebody was telling me one of these questions is about it, it's coming. It's gonna be harder and harder to deny to to not take it. Well, my hard line is the vaccine. That's rape. You can't force me to have you inject me with something. Just like a guy can't force a woman to put his penis in her, you can't put that little narrow dick in me and, and pump me full of that COVID cum. You ain't going to do it. That's rape. And so I feel, I'll put something on my face, but you ain't putting nothing in my body, right? At least not in, not my conscious way, right? They do it through the air. They spray all kinds of shit that get you breathe in, put all kinds of garbage in your food and in your water. But I'm not going to sit there and spread my cheeks so that you could fill me up, right? I'm not your hoe, right? And so that may be one where you say, I'll just have to find another way to live. You can't travel. Okay. You know what? If they tell me, because that's where they're going to do it first. You can't travel. Guess what? I just won't travel. I just won't travel. That's why I'm buying 40 acres. I just won't go nowhere. Then it might be you can't buy food. Oh, then I'll grow my own food. I'm learning how to make chickens, animal husbandry, fishing, hunting, right? I'm setting myself up. I saw this coming. So I'll be able to do that. My good old friend Chris Barnard, he, he and I had a phone call today. He's going to show me how to shoot hogs out in the woods, right? We got woods over where I'm going. He said, you got to set up a feed trap and a, and a, sh uh, a shooting, uh, like he builds like something up in a tree, <laughs> right? You want to figure that out. I think there's going to be a whole COVID black market, anti-vax black market, at least, at least here in the U.S. Because Americans, we still have that rebellious nature. It's not all good, but when it's time to say no, there's enough Americans that, that say no. There's going to be a black market. I think there's going to be a black market internet. I think there's going to be a black market everything. I think, I think because the free market is still somewhat free, there are going to be alternatives for everything. You can buy, hey, we got not anti-vaxxer shopping centers. Look, everybody's making sure, that, making you have vaccines to go buy stuff. Here, we barter. We barter, you bring, you know, you, you exchange. They, you know, one of the weirdest things that co countries do is they outlaw certain currencies, competing currencies. Pfft. There's going to be persecution. Anyway, that's the bottom line. It's going to be persecution. And you got to be able to d decide where you draw that line for being willing to, to die on, on your feet or live on your knees. And you got to know where that hard line is. Is it the mask? I knew from the beginning it wasn't the mask for me. I wasn't willing to die for the mask. I'll put on a mask if I have to. Um, or is it the vaccine, right? Or is it, you know, the test? The tests keep getting weirder and weirder. First of all, why do you got to stick that shit up your nose, right? I think it's a, it, I think they kind of do it. You know when you go into a, uh, a, a fraternity, they humiliate you, you know, maybe they take your take your pants down, spank your booty with that paddle, right? Or to make you drink yourself into oblivion. You got to do something to humiliate, humiliate yourself to be initiated. With the COVID cult, the, the initiation is humiliation as well. Stick this shit up your nose. <laughs> you bastard, look at him. Take a picture, take a picture. Yeah, we got you. Oh, but you know what they have now? Bend over and put this shit up your ass. Put this stick up your butt. They did that. They did that to uh, Joe Biden's crew when he went to China. Look it up, Chinese asswab. <laughs> and then they apologized after and said, oh, we didn't have to do that. And you know, they were snickering. They were laughing. That was symbolic. That was symbolic of China shoving it up our ass. And that's what's coming. That's what's coming too. The least of our problems is going to be this COVID bullshit. It's just going to, it's going to keep escalating. 
And so that's it, man. That's my that's my thought on that. You know, if I were you, I would just take the dumb test. You probably don't have it, right? <laughs> you probably don't have it. Uh, put on a mask and take your test. You know, get your get your get get gets what you need. Um, keep looking into natural alternatives for your for your GI issues. I'm not going to go down that route. You know, uh, I just would imagine that you, somebody who's been struggling with this, you've probably done a ton of research yourself. Keep doing research. See if, if you can find out other, yeah, ketogenic diets, fasting. There may be other things that you can do. Um, but that's up to you and how bad you want that because you'll probably get to a point where uh, you might need surgery and then they might tell you, oh, we don't operate on anybody who doesn't have a vaccine. So you want to fix that problem before it gets gets that bad. So I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.